Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed my last video where I talk about hologram cards. Today, I'm gonna talk about uh, one of one cards. You know, the one and only one cards. It is a dream for all collectors to have one of one in their collections, including me. Well, it started about 97, 98, where Flare Showcase has a uh, masterpiece one of one and Ultra has the, you know, the one of one uh, masterpiece also, and at that time, that's really, really the real one of one. <clears throat> like today's product in Panini, you can get four to five one of ones for each player. So maybe one of one is not really that special anymore. So in my collecting years, I'm quite lucky to have some one of ones in my Shaquille O'Neal collection. Uh, one of the earliest one is was the 0405 Hardcore Edge in Time. So this card has a uh, wooden plank <clears throat> on the bottom of the card, and there are several copies of one of one for each player. I'm quite sure because I saw some other Shaq 101s of this one right here. So the 101 is a <clears throat> stem on the bottom right. You cannot really see it, but it's right here. It's down here. It's down here. Okay, and I have another 101, but I already let it go <clears throat> to another Shaq, Shaq collector. It's a Tops. I think it's a Tops Luxury Box Quadruple. Mm, super X Fractor, something like that. So, since he's a completionist and he already has the non auto version, so I just have to let it go. I just have to give it to him, then he became a very, very happy man. Okay, next one of the earliest one that I got is here is the 13 14 Panini Signatures Platinum. As you can see, I like, you know. I like this card, it's a clean white card and it depicts Shark in Orlando, Jersey. There are, I think there are eight one of ones of this card right here and also got another one of one of this one here. So I got two, not bad huh? And this card has uh, another parallel, the out of 3, out of 5, and out of 10. I like this card, it's clean cut. Okay, go next. Got this uh, 1415 Spectra Prism Black. I got it from a local collector. He pulled it in a group break, and <clears throat> immediately he offered it to me, and I just didn't give him a chance to offer it to another guy so I just pull the trigger and get it and since then I grabbed the other parallel so I get the full rainbow for this card this one right here is very nice you see the, it, this is the the first spectra I really like the first year spectra not like the uh, the, the remaining years the 15 16 17 the the, the, um, the prism is just too funky this one is really, really just like, you know, refractors. Love it. Okay. And then I got, oh yeah, I got this in a deal from Instagram, I believe. Somebody DM me on Instagram said, bro, you got this card? I said, no. You want to let it go? Yeah. And how much? And without you know, long negotiation, I just take it, I like it, you see, it's a clean, also not a clean card, it's a 2012-13 innovation, it's the 101 version of the base card. Quite nice, I would say, and then, got this 
1314 gold standard black. It's a, you know, gold standard, usually all gold, but this black, you know, seems like a black gold to me. It doesn't really shine, but if you can see, there's a refractory effect on the card. The one of one is right here, down here. That's the back of the card. Okay, next I got this. It's a 15, 16 threat century, great century proof platinum. What a long name. See? I got it raw and I submitted it like a few years ago and I'm quite lucky to get a gem min. Okay. okay. Next one I got oh yeah from the 1819 Court Kings product. I have two one of one from that year. This is the Court King Portraits Masterpiece one of one. And the other one is the Court King Legacy Signatures Masterpiece one of one. So on that year, Shaq has three different cards and I have two one of ones of those. So I'm quite happy. And, and to think of it, these two one of ones actually pulled here in Indonesia. I got these two from my friend in Indonesia. They pull it in the in the group break and a personal box break and they pull it. So now these two are safe in my collection. All are one of ones. Okay, quite happy. And then those are the graded one of one that I have. I have some ungraded one. This one right here. It's a Donruss, Donruss 1617. The champ is here. The black press proof one of one. And I just don't bother to grade it anymore because like the grading is so expensive right now and the time is just crazy. So it's the champ is here, Miami Heat press proof black Donruss. And then the next one is the another Court Kings. I like Court Kings. It feels it felt it, it really felt like chronology. It's a one of one. So vintage material from Court Kings 1516. The patch that I I, I like the let, the lettering here the patch lettering is so artistic okay next one I got a uh, from another from one from 1516 it's a Lux it's only I think Lux product only came twice I don't remember this one's so quite nice. I like the patch. It's a Lux Memorabilia Black One of One. Right here. Quite nice. I like the design. Okay, next one. I got this one, I think, uh, two years ago. It's from Crown Royale, um, 1819 Crown Royale. It's a Phoenix jersey with the <clears throat> laundry tag. It kind of feel like um, eminence, somehow, some way. The shine the you know the prismatic uh, border felt like eminence for me see that 
it's, it's kind of hypnotic. <laughs> okay, another one. Another raw one of one. I'm quite proud to have this one. It's right here. I call it Logo Boy instead of Logo Man. It's a bullion brand from 1516 Panini. Gold standard. Bullion brand. It really shines. There's a, a texture on the card. The stripes there is textured. The design is clean. And I didn't grade this card because like the corner won't grade well I believe. Somewhere I think I remember is somewhere there. But it's a very nice card nevertheless. I mean I got, I got this from a fellow friend of mine, a shack collector in Australia. And he let it go for me. I mean like he helped me a lot in getting a lot of shack cards for me from Australia. So yeah. This one won't leave my collection ever. Okay, I have two other um, <clears throat> one of one, and this right here. It's a buyback card. It's a from 1415 SP authentic Shaq buyback autos. So in 1415. Upper Deck released the SP Authentic with a lot of buyback autos. There are 15 different buyback autos from Shaq from this year. Upper Deck bought like a lot of um, 90s insert and had Shaq sign it each one of one. You see that? It's the Championship Galaxy. It's a 97-98 Metal Universe Championship Galaxy. One of one. They have the Upper Deck uh, Authentication Hologram Sticker. Championship Galaxy. I got it uh, here. I got, I got this one here from Blowout Forum. Back then, I was quite active on the forum. So just one day, just a guy that offered, that messaged me like, Hey bro, you collect Shaq? Yeah, sure, I, I collect Shaq. Yeah, what's up man? And he told me like, I just busted this SP Authentic box, a lot of them, and I come by this card. Do you want it? I said, yeah, I want it. It's, it's a nice card. And he sold it to me. I think at that time, it's a very reasonable price. So I just took it. And never look back and you know what after three months he messaged me again bro I think last time I sold you my shack right yeah 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 I put another one this one oh my god another one from the same guy it's a another 1415 SP authentic buyback autographs it came from 96, 97 EX 2000 net assets. You can't really the autograph here, but it's right, right down here. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, but it is a nice card. And then I missed one on eBay. Oh yeah, before that, he sold me with the same price that he gave from this one so these two I got it with the same price it's very very lucky for me and I missed another one on eBay with a steel price but but it, it went to another collector a friend of mine so uh, in this issue the 1415 um, buyback there are for, uh, 15, 15 different uh, Shaq buyback and I think I saw 9 of them 
and out of nine I believe six or seven are in Shrek collector's possession in my group so I think we quite hold a majority or maybe more uh, I, I forgot so I'm quite lucky to have two but I can read you from the checklist for this card right here so <clears throat> Besides these two, uh, there's a, a total O from 96, 97, 97, 98 Hooper Stars, Hoops, um, is uh, another, another one is like a 98, 99 Titanium, yeah, Titanium, and Dunk and Go Nuts, Lynchpins, you know, you name it, all of the nice 90s cards, and Ultra Ultra abilities, superstars, and there's an ultra stars buyback for this card, but it's not a gold one. It's the regular ultra stars, but still the the base ultra stars is very expensive right now. And I think there's another one. It's the ultra star power supreme. So there are fifteen, fifteen different one of ones. There was upper deck buyback from the market for this issue and also yeah all of the cars that came with uh, this kind of authentication from upper deck so it's quite nice so okay here i'm gonna okay as you can see the right on the right there's those the, the list of the 15 different buyback orders from upper deck for this 1415 SP authentic okay and okay for this edition I'm just gonna keep it under 20 minutes so I hope you enjoy my one of one collection uh, yeah out of one of one I still have lots of printing plates one of ones I didn't really count it into uh, you know a real one of ones. That's just a leftovers from the panini to put into the packs. But I have quite quite a lot of it. Maybe about 20, 20 something. Anyway, so feel good to share this cards to you guys through YouTube. So I'm looking forward to make more videos and please subscribe and support me. Okay. See you next episode, guys. Bye.